has announced an emergency bill to speed up reconstruction in communities affected by a week of street unrest. Mr Macron has been meeting 200 mayors from affected areas at the Elysee Palace in Paris. A spokesperson for Mr Macron said the aim of the discussions had been to deepen the understanding of the root causes of the violence. Well, the unrest was sparked by the killing of a 17-year-old named as Nahel during a traffic stop last Tuesday. The last two nights saw fewer arrests than the days immediately following the incident, but thousands of police officers are still deployed across the country. Well, straight to Paris now, and Tom Simons is there for us now. And Tom, we're getting a clearer picture, aren't we, from the Interior Ministry about the damage that's been done and what has happened since the unrest. Yeah, quite a lot of movement today. Responses from the French government about this last week of unrest and damage on the streets. Uh, just take a look at these figures. 3,500 arrests, 800 police injuries, 269 police stations attacked, 12,000 bin fires uh, set alight on the streets, and 1,100 uh, buildings damaged. So very serious unrest here. Uh, that luckily has stopped overnight. Very little going on, uh, though some, some arrests still. And we also have, in the last hour or two, uh, something from Emmanuel Macron, the French president, a new emergency bill offered to the mayors of towns affected by uh, the riots of the last week to speed up construction or reconstruction of buildings, street furniture and transport, and also for repairs to roads, municipal establishments and schools. What that doesn't seem to be, it's quite uh, vague on detail, it doesn't seem to be any sort of addressing of the underlying social issues that I think some of the mayors who'd been, been to see Manuel Macron at the Elysee Palace behind me, that they may have been demanding. For example, massive investment to try and improve the fortunes of some of the banlieues, as they're called, the uh, not very well off suburbs of cities like Paris. And we heard from one mayor as he came out of the meeting. Ali Rabe represents Trap, which is a southwestern suburb, which is not a, a well off place that has suffered very badly from the riots. This is what he had to say about the mood in that meeting. Well, what I saw in there stuck with me. I mean, the audience was 90% male, white, you know, there is a proper lack of diversity. Along with a few others, one could say I'm the exception that proves the rule. Our democracy is sick. We have a democratic problem in France because not all of the layers of society are represented. And that really struck me as I looked around the room today. And just watching the mayors go in, it was very hard to see any uh, mayors of colour going into that meeting and actually not as many women as you might expect uh, for the population as a whole. There's a lot to... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.